Hello, so hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Now, today is a very exciting day. I think we literally have three minutes till Renaissance drops. Now, I did an Ivy Park, Ivy Topia review the other day, so if you haven't seen that, check it out. That was a whole lot of fun to film. And I said I would do a Renaissance album reaction when it came out. The album leaked a few days ago, but I refrained from listening to it because I wanted to experience it as Beyonce intended because I respect her. And I was not about to do that to her because it's been so long since we've had solo music and I wanted to experience it with everybody else, the whole world. Um, so yeah, I'm very scared, very nervous, very intrigued. If it's anything like Break My Soul, Break My Soul, Soul, Break My Soul, I'm gonna live, I'm gonna ha like experience it, I'm gonna love it. Um, I'm probably gonna look a maniac this video so please excuse me i'm feeling my full beyonce vibe i'm wearing my happy park right now it is currently a minute to release oh gosh oh gosh okay um i just want to start off by saying i am one of the hive that appreciate all the happy park tribes i also appreciate lion king i've also appreciated everything is love and homecoming like i've loved all this stuff she's put out in between we haven't had solo yonce in six years and that's fine i've enjoyed everything she's put out and i've partaken in everything she's put out and i've been happy but i am very happy to see solo yonce back and this is gonna be an hour and two minutes i think we literally have 25 seconds oh god <sighs> if i cry excuse me if i look like a loser excuse me but here we're here, we're here. The renaissance is emerging. We have 10 seconds left. We're gonna get into it. I'm gonna try and chop it down as well so I don't get copyright striked, but this is it, Hive. We are here. Um, let's experience the renaissance. It's midnight. Let's go. Here we go. Please, mother. It's a slow one. Yes, you are, B. You are. Yes, you are. Yes, B, you remind them. You remind these girls who's that girl? Who is that woman? It's a very slow, twerky song. I can just feel like it in the club going boom, 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 boom. It's like the scene in a movie where you're trying to find someone, everything's all slow motion. Let's keep the chit chat down to the low. Let's carry on. I'm gonna pause it before it goes into the next song. As much as that was like a fun, slow-mo like bop, it actually sounds quite heartbreaking. Like as much as she's talking on it and like reminding you who she is, there's a there's an air, an essence of heartbreak and like sadness to it. I don't know what it is, but I'm getting teary-eyed. Let's continue because we're gonna we are gonna be here for an hour. Oh, Yep. Period. This is giving me such fusion of like four. I am B Day, the gift, self titled, areas of lemonade. It's, I don't know what it is, but it's a conglomerate. I'm finding it a little hard to understand the lyrics, I can't really hear them very well. But I think that will improve when I listen to it with headphones. I think I'm just trying to take all of it in all at once and I think it's quite overwhelming. These are both so far are made for clubs. Like I want to get up and dance and shake my ass. Like I just said that in a really British accent. Ass. Stop talking Michelle. Let's carry on. Oh. Yep. I'm the only one. Period. Yep. What is that sample? What does it sound like? Um, too sexy for, um, too sexy for that guy. Something. I can't put my finger on it. But there's like a, a gravitas to this. 
chorus that I don't know what like what I'm gonna pinpoint and talk about because it feels so cinematic and theatrical. That's it. It feels theatrical. It's that was something else. I like it a lot. I'm gonna have to listen to it probably a million times to get everything that was said. But the, the flow, the stacking, the vocals, the change, the beat drop, the newness, but also the oldness to the sound. I think I just need to sit and just listen to it again. Because I think I was transcended. Honestly, I felt like my soul left my body. It felt erythral, if I'm honest. Like the moment you're in a club, you know that moment in the club when you're feeling so euphoric, you're just dancing, you're having the time of your goddamn life and everything is there isn't a care in the world and you're just loving life. Now why is that gonna make me cry? I'm a sensitive soul everybody. Let's move on to cuff it because it's already started playing. This is very disco. See? Ooh! Yeah! Yeah! I would get up, but I'm not wearing pants. Like, I'm not wearing shorts. That was a whole ass groove. I want to get up and I want to go into a club. I want to put some flares on. And do a little sidestep and a little point finger. I don't know what the dance is called. We're gonna move on to energy because it's moving on very quickly. The flow from each song to song. Immaculate as always, Beyonce does that very, very well. Seamless, love it. Let's raise the energy. I think this is where the Afro beats is coming back in. It's giving me two different genres and two completely different songs. I like that. Some cars just turned into terrorists. Big Finger again. Big Finger again. Oh, that's transitioning to Break My Soul. Swift. Right, let's, let's break my soul. This break song brings me so much bloody joy. You are break my soul. You are break my soul. I'm gonna have no drive and they work me so damn hard. My own foundation. Yeah. Oh. You won't break my soul. You won't break my what? Yeah, yeah. Motivation. The next song I think is called Church Girl, and I've had a lot of things. My 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 group chat, high group chat, is currently popping off. Oh. Oh god, how is this making my t my eyes water I'm about to get emotional and see so you switching it up and make me want to pop my freaking non-existent pussy, my bushy, that I don't have. I think this might be one of my favourites. I hate her for ending it like that. Why does it sound so gorgeous and make me cry and then want to pop my pussy? Wow. Um... Church girl, I'm gonna go and um, maybe pray uh, because I feel like I've sinned. Um, plastic off the sofa. Now this was a funny one because Indians put plastic everywhere. So I thought this song was aptly named. Oh. <laughs> ah, it's giving me groan, growly, dangerously in love. It feels like a neat alcohol just running down your throat. Why 
guys, I got me. She's taking it. It's giving me very much, you know, when Black is King in the film, when it kind of transitions after Find Your Way Back, it goes into those like erythral vocals. That's what the end bit sounds like. I don't know why I'm crying. I genuinely don't. The soothe, the soothing factor of this song, also the vocals and how they were layered and how dreamy they were. Also, the fact that what she was saying, she was talking about someone, obviously a partner and like a lover. But what I got from it was confiding in someone and wearing your heart on your sleeve and like being there for someone. And over the last year, I, last year I had one of the worst years of my life and a few of my friends really became my kind of like, I don't know what, they, what I'd call them, but like my partners in that, in this sense, in terms of like I confided in them and like really just broke down and let it out. And I think it just reminded me of how how painful that was and how beautiful this is and how beautiful I'm just feeling a lot right now and I didn't realize this song out of all of them would make me do this to me let's groove on over to Virgo's groove oh <laughs> dry those tears baby we're hitting the dance floor it's giving me like 80s oh It feels very old school. She sounds like she's having so much fun. Oh, oh! That last 25 seconds was otherworldly. Um, these songs are coming thick and fast. We're moving through this album. Next song we have is Move. We're just going to keep it going because I'm feeling some type of way. That's Beyonce. Oh. I'm getting such a fear. This song is I Am meets The Lion King, The Gift, the Afro Beats infusion into Sasha Fierce. I'm getting like snappiness, I'm getting like aggressive, I'm getting like bitey, I'm getting vicious, I'm getting move out of my way, bitch. And I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I'm really, I, I just, I was having a good time just vibing, just bopping along. This is gonna go straight into whichever song is next. So we're just gonna let it play and then I'll put on screen what song is next. This is gonna be a, a summer song. The little giggle, I, it always gets me. Did you just say on Tuesday I'm like drinking water or something and then the next day I'm over it? Bitch, she's telling you stunt Twitter fans that all of you are miserable, right? All of you are like, she's over right, she's over right. Girl, she has worked and she puts the bar up every damn time. Constantly improves, constantly sets the standard. She's the celebrity of celebrities, bitch, bow down. And she's gonna remind you because you've been talking too much shit on our internet. I've been seeing you. I'm not going on Twitter because you're all miserable. You're all miserable. Like the amount of shit I've seen, just with the, especially with the Blackest King era, lemonade, everything. People are miserable. Like get a life. Jesus Christ. 
get a job. There are people on the internet who actively go out and listen to Beyonce. Let's use the leak for example, who listen to the whole album. Bear in mind, they hate Beyonce. Which same person who supposedly hates an artist spends an hour listening to their album just to tell you that they hate them? Delusion. Deluded. But sometimes your hoes need to be reminded who the f you're messing with. And I want more of this. I want more of this shit because I want her to tell you. Sit the fuck down. Alright? Sit the fuck down. Alright, let's move on to the next song. It's next song is Thick or Thick or Thick. It's giving me Power Rangers intro. Cash getting bigger. He thought he was loving me good. I told him go harder. Three changes. Guys, one of my favorites. Easily. I can't let my mum listen to this. Ooh. Ooh. I'm just gonna let it go. All up in your mind. That was a beautiful quick cut. Two thousand and ten. The vocal layering. Right, it's gonna just smooth into America has a problem. So let it go. Oh, I really like this. I really like the way the sample was include the way the sample kind of blends to the song. Again, it doesn't keep the same thing all throughout, which is trippy as hell. But I like it because, oh my gosh, Renaissance really means rebirth, rebirth, rebirth. And I've never heard Beyonce like this ever. Like this is yes, we've seen bits and pieces of Beyonce do this, but all blended into one. I don't think we've ever experienced this before, and it's it's different. I just know there's like things that I need to unpack and like listen to and find the little easter eggs and But so far each song has some component that actually grabs me Like if I'm not feeling it at the beginning there's something that comes in later on And I think the fact that it has like a tri- tri- tri fork kind of hit to each song Immediately grabs my attention and just hooks me to every song Oh yeah She's back your honey. I love the little metal. Blong, 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 blong. Oh yeah, get me in a club. This is giving very gay, very LGBTQ plus. Pretty boys. I'm ugly, so that doesn't include me. But I'm gonna be there anyway. It's giving me rocket. Oh. Oh yeah, top 5. Top 5, top 10, I love this song. I haven't plugged in how many things I put in top 5 yet. I really like, really like this. I think we got like 4 or 5 different things in one song. Mind is mush. It is honey right now. Pure honey in my head. It's so sweet and like, mm, like just sugary and just so many different things. It feels like a pastry table where I'm like, oh, oh, I want that, I want that, I want that. This song's about to finish, we're gonna move into the final track of the album, Summer Renaissance. Um, and I'm not ready to, for a bit to be over. Sweet dreams are made of these. Ooh. Oh, it's so good, it's so good. That's it. Oh, the sample. I feel like I'm having an acid trip. We're in it, we're in heaven. Renaissance by Beyonce. I'm overwhelmed. A very enjoyable hour and whatever it was, hour and two minutes, hour and two minutes. There is nothing I want more than to be in Club Renaissance right now with some flares on, with long hair, just letting it flow. 
with shades, the glitter ball, drinks flowing, voguing going on, drag queens, ballroom. I want to be surrounded by the gays, the, the gays, the lesbians, the LGBTQ+, IA community. I want the girls. I want everyone to be happy. I want everyone to be singing along. I want everyone to let their hair down, sweat. I want to feel the summer of the 80s and 90s. I genuinely don't know what my top 5 or top 10 or whatever my top list is. But I had a thoroughly good time. I'm going to have to end the video off here. That's Renaissance. I'm very, very impressed. Very happy. We're in the Renaissance era, baby. So yeah, that is it for this video. If you've enjoyed it, please leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe. My Instagram and my other social media are linked down below. Let me know what you thought of Renaissance down below. And with that said, I'm going to love you and leave you before I get cut off. Um, I'll see you soon. Love ya. Thank you, B. By the way. Big props, you made me happy, you made me smile, and you made me cry at one, like, half to twelve in the morning, so. Love to see you too. See you soon.